Hey, what is up guys? Dusty here, and this gameplay is uh, Capture the Flag on... What the hell is this map? Launch? No, it looks like Launch. It is Meltdown, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, Capture the Flag on Meltdown, and I know that's a little bit different compared to what I usually post, but that is because I was actually playing League Play. I was playing solo in the Mosh Pit series a couple nights ago, and I was having a lot of fun. I actually like League Play a lot more than just the regular public matches. I seem to have a lot more fun in it. It's fun just playing the objective. And I have a really cool video hopefully coming up. If it all works out well and I record it perfectly, um, my next uh, Call of Duty video should be pretty awesome. It'll be a compilation slash highlight reel type video of my first few league play matches. And it's not just going to be a normal thing. I'm going to kind of do something special, something hopefully pretty unique. Um, but I'm not going to spoil too much, so hopefully just stick around and tune in whenever I upload that. I actually need them to fix theater mode before I can upload it because I need to get one gameplay that I forgot to record off there. So whenever that's fixed, you can expect that gameplay, and hopefully it's pretty soon. But anyway, this video is not quite about the gameplay, although it's a pretty exciting one. I don't get a high kill count. I don't you know, absolutely destroy people, but I play the objective pretty good, and I get a ton of flag captures, and it's a pretty exciting game, so I hope you enjoy it. But the point of this video is to make my football predictions for this week. You guys probably remember that I did it last week. And if you didn't see the video or don't remember my picks for last week, I'm going to put them up on the screen right about now. And you can see how crappy I did. <laughs> Trust me, guys. Usually I am not this horrible when it comes to picking NFL games. I mean, it wasn't the worst week ever. 9-7 and seven is what I went. Usually I do a lot better than that. Um, there were a few upsets last week. It looked like I was going to have smooth sailing. It, looks like, it looked like at first, at least at the 1 o'clock games, that I was doing pretty well. I think at one point I was looking like I was going to be 7-1, and one, and then so many teams came back, forced overtime, forced upsets. I'm looking at you, St. Louis, and the week just didn't turn out as good as I hoped, but that is not going to stop me. I'm going to come back this week and make some perfect NFL predictions, and I guarantee you that. Anyway, the first game that I wanted to predict was tonight's game, Denver at Oakland, and um, this video is probably going to go up a little bit after that game has started because I'm just recording it right now and the game's about to start but I mean come on I'm obviously picking Denver I'm not gonna be cheating here if the video shows up after Denver has like a 21 point lead you can't say I cheated because no one in their right mind is picking Oakland <laughs> and I don't think I really need to give much of a reason as to why Denver's gonna win they are just much better and that is that um, next game, Atlanta at Carolina. Now, I'm pretty pissed off at Carolina because I went with them last week. I, you know, gave them a vote of confidence because I picked them against Kansas City. And, you know, that game got a little crazy with um, that news story, everything that happened, the killing, and, yeah, yikes. Um, so maybe Kansas City was playing with some emotion, but regardless of what happened, they did in Carolina. And my trust in Carolina was definitely misplaced. And I'm certainly not going to pick him this week against the Falcons. I'm going Atlanta here. Next up, Chicago at Minnesota. This one's a bit of a tricky one because if you guys remember from my last video last week, I said Chicago was definitely going to beat Seattle. That was one of my most, um, you know, that was one of my sure picks, basically. I said easiest pick of the week. You pick against Seattle here, pick Chicago. And Chicago let me down. Uh, Seattle doesn't often win on the road, but they beat Chicago, who I thought was a great team. And maybe they're not as good as I originally thought. But Minnesota, again, is a team that started out hot, and since then, they have just fallen off the map. Kind of like Arizona, although not as drastically. They're still competing in their games. They're still at least looking decent. Adrian Peterson is still running like a madman. So this is a tough game with Minnesota at home. Personally, I'm just going to go with Chicago. I think Chicago has a bit more staying power. I think they're a legit playoff contender. Minnesota, I think, still might have a year before they're really a legit contender. I'm still not convinced about Christian Ponder. They could win this game, but I just got to go with Chicago here. Next up, Baltimore at Washington. Another tough one. I got both of their games wrong last week as well. Pittsburgh went into Baltimore and upset them with who at quarterback? Charlie Batch? I don't even know. Um, and Washington did in the New York Giants. Um, I picked the Giants pretty surely over Washington because they destroyed Green Bay the week before, and then Washington just takes care of business on Monday Night Football. Uh, NFL, like, I mean, right there is the perfect example of how the NFL is an extremely difficult league to pick from week to week. Um, 
you know, any given Sunday is what they always say, and it's really, really true, especially when it comes to these two teams. I'm going with Washington here. I think Baltimore started out great this season, but ever since they've gotten a few injuries to their defense, uh, they haven't been the same team. The defense has been a little weak. They're giving up some rushing yards, and I just don't have that much faith in Joe Flacco in general. Washington seems to be heating up at the right time, so I'm going to put my faith in them for this week, and we'll see what happens. Next up, Philly at Tampa Bay. I mean, come on, easy pick. Philly is trash. Go with Tampa Bay here. <laughs> San Diego at Pittsburgh. Um, you know what? I should have done a little bit of research on this game going into this video, this recording, because I am not sure if Ben Roethlisberger is supposed to play or not. I heard he was earlier in the week, but at this moment in time, I'm not 100% sure. But with that said, Pittsburgh did go into Baltimore, even with Charlie Batch, and beat the Ravens. And San Diego is pretty terrible. So I'm feeling pretty confident going with Pittsburgh regardless. If Roethlisberger plays, I think this is a sure pick. If not, San Diego could pull one off. You never know. But I'm going with Pittsburgh. Next up, Dallas at Cincinnati. Oh, man. This one is a tough one. Dallas is just such an enigmatic team. You never know what you're going to get from them from week to week. Uh, would anyone be surprised if Tony Romo went into Cincinnati and threw five interceptions and Dallas got destroyed? I don't think so. At the same time, if would anyone be surprised if he went in there and threw four touchdowns and Dallas won running away? Again, I don't think so. It's just a really, really tough game to pick. Cincinnati is solid all around. You pretty much know what you're going to get from them. They're a good team. They're going to play good football every week, and they're at home, so you have to have to like that. I just personally think Dallas has a little bit more talent. Um, does that mean they're going to win? Obviously not. They are just too unpredictable. But, oh man. <laughs> I think I feel like I'm going to regret this, but I'm going with Dallas here. I just, I got to go with the talent. And, you know, hopefully, eventually, maybe it'll hold up. The cream will eventually rise to the top. Maybe they'll start putting some consistent games together. And I got to hope that's going to be the case this week. Because I'm going with them. No disrespect to Cincy, though. They're a good team. Wouldn't be surprised at all if they pulled one off. <sighs> Tennessee at Indy. Again, last week I trashed Indy a little bit and Andrew Luck saying, I don't think they're that good. They played a weak schedule. And I'm not going to lie, I still think that. But Tennessee is part of that weak schedule. And Indy at home, got to go with them. The Jets at the Jaguars. Two bad football teams. Um, easy pick, though. Jacksonville got beat by the Pills last week, so you can't really pick them against anyone. I'll go with the Jets, even with their ridiculous quarterback situation. St. Louis at Buffalo. Um, St. Louis is the better team, but here in Buffalo, I mean, St. Louis has a great home field advantage. They're not as good on the road. Uh, the Bills need this one more than anything to keep their playoff hopes alive. Uh, another 50-50 game. Either team could pull this one off. St. Louis has a little more talent, but I like the Bills to pull this one off. You know, i got to go with my home team. Got to be a little biased. <laughs> Kansas City at Cleveland. Uh, Kansas City is awful. I can't believe they won last week. Uh, I feel bad about everything that's happening around that organization. Hope they pull through and stuff. Got all the respect in the world for Romeo Cornell as a person, but he is a shitty football coach. Cleveland should win this game. Miami at San Francisco. I mean, what's to say here? Miami is not a good football team. San Francisco is a very good football team. Sure, San Francisco has a little bit of a quarterback controversy, but it should not stop them from rolling here. New Orleans at the Giants. The Giants had a bit of a letdown game last week against the Redskins, which I already mentioned. But, I don't know, New Orleans just is not the same team they were previous years. Maybe they'll regain uh, their former glory eventually, but I doubt it will be this week. Got to go with the Giants. Arizona at Seattle. Again, I mean, Seattle, they surprised me last week. Going into Chicago and beating them, that is a very tough thing to do. Um, so I'm going to go with Seattle at home over Arizona. Detroit at Green Bay. Go with Green Bay. Detroit let me down last week. They suck. Lastly, Houston at New England. Oh, it looks like this game plays over. I'll get this pick in pretty fast. I'm going with New England. The, this might be a preview of the AFC Championship game. I'm going with the home team, New England. I think in the clutch against another uh, powerhouse, Tom Brady will be able to pull it off. Well, that should do it, guys. Thanks for watching my gameplay. My uh, recording went a little bit overboard there, but I really hope you enjoyed it. And look forward to that league play uh, highlight reel package. And really, I'm not going to spoil the rest, but it should be good. See you guys later.